All right, welcome back, Math 7. Today we are going to be talking about triangles. This is our last lesson before the <clears throat> quiz. Uh, if you're watching this as a new video, it is Friday, the quiz. So here we go. What do you know about triangles? Let's find out. Let's talk about it. So there's two ways to classify triangles by their angles first, A for angles, and by their sides second. So first off, you can have three types of triangles based on their angles. Acute, all the angles are smaller than 90. Right triangles have at least one right angle. That means the other two angles are acute. And obtuse has one obtuse angle, and that means the other two angles are acute. So all triangles are, by definition, too acute. So what's the question? Is the third acute, the third right, or the third obtuse? And that's how you define it based on its angles. Now, if you want to go by the sides... You have scalene, where all the sides are different. Isosceles, where two sides are different. These little tick marks, they show that these two sides are identical. I don't know what the lengths are, but I know that they are the same. And equilateral means equal sides, your lateral muscles or your side muscles. <clears throat> um, these double tick marks mean all three of these sides are equal. <clears throat> this is a very common triangle. So you could have an acute equilateral, you can have an acute isosceles, an acute scalene, you could have an obtuse scalene, obtuse isosceles. Um, the only kind of equilateral triangle has to be acute. You can't have these other two equilaterals, okay? But these two can be right, they can be obtuse. All right. Uh, draw a triangle that satisfies the set of conditions below. So a triangle with one right angle and two congruent sides. So the easiest way to do this is to try and draw the legs, the sides that touch the right angle, equal. The connecting side cannot be the same length as the legs. So how do you show that they're the same length? You draw these little tick marks to show that this is a um, isosceles right triangle or a right isosceles triangle. All right. On the quiz, be prepared to identify the triangle, not draw. Classify the triangle shown by its angles and sides. Okay, this is right. I always go to the angle first. It's a right triangle. So this is a right. Okay, look at the sides. Okay, they look all very different. Remember this, if a right triangle, this is called the hypotenuse, opposite the right angle. It's always longer than the other two sides, and these are clearly different. So this is a scalene triangle. No, what am I putting an I in there for? It's an E, scalene with an E, two E's. Right scalene triangle. Now, by definition, triangles are always 180 degrees. If you didn't know that, now you do. Learn it. If you know any two sides, any two angles, rather, you can figure out the third angle. And we're going to use a little bit of algebra to do that. So you can use a little simple equation. Add up the three angles, they equal 180. So if we have ABC, the triangle ABC, and we know A, and we know B, we can find C. So the easiest way to do it is you take 180 equals 25 plus 108 plus C. We don't know C. So we can uh, add these up. You get 133 plus C equals 180. And then we have to get rid of the positive 133 by taking away 133 from both sides. So these cancel. 180 minus 133 is 47 degrees. And you can check it. If you add those up, they will add up to 180. Triangles are very easy to check to see if it works. Okay. Right, you find triangles all over the place here. Same deal. A little shortcut. You can just start with 180 and subtract the two angles you know. So 180 minus 110 is 70. 70 minus 35 means that this is 35. Now, looking at this triangle, since these two angles are the same, that means these two sides, the opposite sides, are related in the same. So this is an a, a obtuse isosceles because you have two angles that are the same therefore two sides are the same and you have an obtuse one in there all right so a little trick there you can look at you can know the side length based on the angles angles and side length are 100 percent related you can bet on it that's the lesson for the day if you have any questions shoot me an email message me on canvas talk to me in class do whatever it takes to dominate this lesson and i'll talk to you soon bye